Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpig. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here is your weekly technical analysis of LME 3 month copper, aluminium and lead. LME 3 month copper. As I've said here for many, many weeks, months even, there are three important congestion zones, which in turn have become either important support zones or resistance areas. We have overhead the 97.50 to 99.95 area. Then closer, but still just above overhead, congestion between 93.95 to 96.06 area. And most recently, a smaller one between, well, just below the current market, between 91.83 to 92.56. This last one saw the market push up through it four weeks ago, then get capped by the next congestion, the 93.95 to 96.06 area overhead, Plus, at the time, the declining short medium moving average, currently 92.61. And we ended up back down below it again, before last week pushing up once more. Under the 91.83 to 92.56 support zone, we have the slowly rising long moving average, currently uh, 91.63. And on top of the 93.95 to 96.06 resistance area, we have the slowly declining medium moving average, currently 96.02, which is just entering it. There's also below the purple highlighted fairly flat extension to the upper trend line, currently 87.81 of the June to August 2023 ascending triangle. This is an interesting support. It was the launch pad for the move up in March this year and the landing pad for the decline following in early August and thus worthy of close attention. The one other feature I would like you to note is a new one. It is the early August to early September bullish Andrews pitchfork. Prices are currently in between the middle time overhead uh, at the moment 94.85 and the lower time below currently at 91.24. I am not in love with this pattern even if it is the first bullish pattern of note I've drawn for quite a while. I'm quite prepared to finesse this into a shallower bullish shift pitchfork or even uh, retire it completely but for now it is doing its job of showing the nascent bullish angle of attack higher. LME 3 month aluminium. There is a lot going on in this daily chart. The move higher over March, April, May and even I suppose the most recent one from early August originates back to late February with the market, market breaking higher from a diamond pattern type formation back then between late October 2023 to late February 2024. Now please remember this is, is the congestion generated by this diamond pattern on the wide between 2100 to 2400 but really between 2156 to 2297 that caused the very recent rise since late July though obviously not the pattern itself. Okay so going now to the peak in late May the market back then made new recent highs but at the same time sowed the seeds of its own bullish destruction by making a two-day pipe top that was also part of a larger two-week horn top. Prices in essence moved lower with a small halfway hesitation in early June and a larger one over mid-June to mid-July till the end of July when the decline was stopped by the extension to the neckline currently 22.22 of the June to July 2023 reverse head and shoulders neckline pattern. From this base prices started to build again and experiment with moving upwards. Thus we saw a move higher up until two weeks ago from the same price zone as the earlier diamond bottom pattern, roughly between 2100 to 2400. In the process, over early to middle August, the market constructed a small ascending triangle pattern, reaching the primary and the secondary targets on the upside and pushing up through the significant resistances now turned into supports. The notable ones were and are the long moving average, currently 2386 twin neckline extensions of the green October 2022 to May 2023 head and shoulders top currently at 2327 and the dark blue March to May 2023 head and shoulders top currently 2340 and now as resistance is the congestion zone being tested now from mid-June to mid-July between roughly 2485 to 2563 containing the levels at 2485 2508 and 2563 plus the bright red middle sign currently at 2541 of the uh, newly drawn um, 
late July to early September bullish shift pitchfork. Oh, my apologies. The, yeah, the, the uh, mid December to 2023 to late July shallow bullish shift pitchfork. And we also have the middle time currently at 2542 of the of the late July to early September bullish shift pitchfork there as well. Now this last one, I'm happy to finesse or even retire as the market demands. But the bright red middle time did help cap the market in late August. Outside of this, we have further resistances overhead at the December 2021 low at 24581 plus 2622, 2650 and a somewhat dubious congestion band between 2666 and 2680 that right now contains the purple middle time, currently 2667. And that's for the bullish Andrews pitchfork for the same move as the bright red bullish shift pitchfork. I should point out that the purple bullish Andrews pitchfork has so far been studiously untested. LME 3 month lead. There are a number of significant features on this daily chart. The first I'd like to mention is the now overhead wide band of congestion originating from April between 2135 to 2186. A congestion area that once more showed itself overhead at the peak three weeks ago. This area contains the 50% Fibonacci line of the March 2020 to March 22 move at 2135, whilst immediately below this is the slowly declining long moving average currently at 2121, and a little further down the green highlighted declining short medium moving average currently at 2073. The next is the late July to late August reverse head and shoulders pattern. It is far from a pretty one and I am low to even mention it but it does exist and that rise peaking three weeks ago was all it could achieve as prices turn back down again. Thus I now regard this pattern as a rarer reverse head and shoulders continuation pattern. It nevertheless has left behind a bright red neckline currently at 1984 that has helped show the bearish angle of attack and I'll speak about this a little bit more shortly. Looking below now we have some congestion which on the face of it should be influential but in practice has not really been so at least since August. It is the congestion Fibonacci based and otherwise between 1994 to 2002. This is followed by the June 2023 low at 1976 which also looks, how shall I put this, um, less interesting. And then the 2024 lower uh, in August, that's 1917, which I suspect is a function of the nearby 2021 low at 1908. There's also the dark blue neckline extension, currently 1951 of the July 23 to February 2024 head and shoulders continuation pattern. This has proved worthy by eroding the dip lower in early August, as well as stopping the most recent decline in early to mid September. Finally, there's one other pattern I'd like to highlight and it's shown to be faithful to both the bright red neckline running parallel with it and the green short medium moving average currently at 2073. It's the early July to late August bearish shift pitchfork. The market at this time is in between the upper tine above, currently at 2069, which has the green short medium moving average as its close companion, and the middle time below, currently at 1937. This pitchfork is showing promise in showing the current bearish angle of attack, along with the bright red middle tine. However, below the bright red middle tine, sorry, my bright red neckline, I should say. However, below the bright red neckline, and especially below the dark blue neckline, well, then we will have to see if it would be strong enough should we get down that far to support the market. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and at the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Tofpik and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final important bit.